welcome to another episode of github copilot in today's episode we are looking at copilot chat for intellij github copilot chat is generally available for all jetbrains id including intellij pycharm android studio there is a set of ids supported by copilot chat now let us see the basics of copilot chat in intellij So the chat interface is available here. You can just open the chat interface. It can be placed in multiple places based on your requirement using move to and resize also possibilities are there. And if you want to dock or float or window the chat interface that is also possible. So according to your convenience and how you use different windows you can align the chat window all together. So I have the chat open here and the copilot is enabled for me and how to set up the chat and how to get aligned to all these initial settings it's explained in one of our videos that is the basic for intellij i'll keep the link to that video in our description so today's topic is the chat and uh, we are starting a new conversation today and the conversation for the file managers class i just want to get an explanation of code either i can use the slash command or i can ask copala to explain my code that also will work or you can go with the slash explain both are giving almost the same response it gives an explanation of selected code here it's going to give an explanation for this read file content method it's provided the complete explanation if you look at the conversation name it's modified to understanding the read file content method in java conversation title or the label is changed according to the prompt we passed and it's used for of the differences the four files open files are referred for getting this contextual information and let us pass another information on top of this whether this code have any security issues so i am looking at any security concerns with my code and look at the conversation title now it's understanding the read file content and after this response or after this prompt let us see whether it's getting changed the conversation title is changed to explaining exploring code security and best practices now let me go ahead and ask another question uh, related to how to optimize the speed of the code so this particular code i need a performance optimization so i just asked on the speed angle or you can ask how to optimize the performance of my code it's going to come up with the different suggestions based on the code piece available here now again the conversation name is going to change the exploring file reading and optimization in java now let us move to the another file all together i have a lambda test file here and as we are going to change the context from one file to the other file i'm going to start a new conversation using the plus sign available on top of the chat window so the new conversation started and i just need to see what's exactly this one or add a documentation on top of that i there i can go for doc that will give a documentation or in a prompted base i can ask for add documentation to my code both will work fine and here also the name of the conversation started and it's modified adding documentation to code that's the request we passed right now now let me ask copilot to simplify my code there is another slash command available for simplification of the code so it's uh, going to simplify my code and give an explanation on what exactly the kind of simplification is done and the conversation title is changed again and if i look at the history of conversation i can see that different conversations are there one is on file reading and optimization right now this one related to the simplification and 
checking element existence on array list. So looking at this uh, titles, we may not able to identify which file or which context it's leading with, especially when you deals with the thousands of files, it's very difficult to understand which one is uh, appropriate for. If I move back to file manager and I want to know what kind of conversation I had with the copilot to continue my conversation, I may need to go and check each of this conversation. This one is our conversation with the file manager class, previous conversations. Always the conversations are important. It carries a context. When you ask the next question, the pre you can link to the previous question, revise the response of the previous question, that communication can be continued. So sometimes we may need the similar kind of communication for a set of files, like all the API related files or API layer files need the similar kind of conversation or similar kind of prompt we are using or the prompt or the details related to a data access layer files will be different. If you want to segregate such conversations, uh, you can start conversation for each of these layers and name it properly. Either you can use this three lines to rename the current conversation. It's a chat related to file manager. So you can rename the uh, conversation that will help you to go back to this uh, conversation in a later time. Now I am in file manager again. If I ask a more question on create new file, let me ask Coppola to explain this code. If you notice the conversation name, whatever the label or name be provided, it will not change after you do a renaming it will stay as it is that will help us to go back to the conversation in a later point of time so this conversation management is possible and if you want to see all the conversation in a single window go to view all conversation and whichever is more appropriate you can select accordingly so a proper naming will help us to move between these conversations and get into a proper conversation to continue your prompt or code modifications. So let us move to this to do service now and I am starting a new conversation and I hope you are clear on the history of conversation, new conversation and delete and rename conversation, these three concepts and if you want to delete any of these existing conversation, you can right click and delete that conversation, it will be removed from the uh, history itself. And when you start a new conversation, for example, in this to do service, I am using an interface called to do service. So I need more details of this one and this file is not open here. Simply I am asking Coppola to explain the to do service interface. Here I am asking Coppola to explain a class file or an interface which is not open right now but internally in my file I am using that one so I need to understand little more about this particular one. So it's given a brief explanation and it likely defined this method that's why there is no confirmation on what kind of methods it's contained and everything. So in case you need more information of any external class which is not open here external in the sense inside the project itself but not open in the id you can use this plus sign to pass that additional class file so to do service dot java is the file i am looking at so i am again asking the same question explain the to do service interface by passing this additional file as the context information so let us see how it's fetching that information and bringing that context into the response from Copilot one. So it's understand there are three different methods defined on this interface. There is a retrieve to do, delete and add to do. These three methods are available as part of this interface which we need to implement here. But as you look at here, we are using only one of them. That's why the initial context is 
referred only one method may be defined in this service kind of thing but by passing this additional file you will get a proper context here you can pass one file or multiple files based on your requirement and get the information linked to many other external files especially when you deal with a unit test creation time you may need the multiple files you are in a single file but the context needs to be from the data access layer or the objects or different other files so you can pass that files and extra additional contextual information so that copilot can bring more appropriate unit test cases for you and another aspect of this chart the basics is the you have a copy message content in case you want to pass this information sometimes we have this information available right now you need to pass that as part uh, to a friend or a reviewer or some information needs to be captured you can get the complete message here into an external file also possible you can just copy it from this one but most of the time you need only the code that can be done using this code block either insert it or just copy this block into a new file altogether that is possible so this is the basics of copilot chat the chat conversation history that is coming on top and renaming and deleting the conversation history which will help you to move uh, into a proper conversation history in a later point of time and then using this uh, copy message contains and the code content copying and adding more context using file picker as an add reference here available so you can pass multiple files to get more contextual information thank you